15th ranked Duke returns home on this Friday evening. Winners of 15 of their last 16 games as the Blue Devils welcome Louisville to open up ACC conference play. And that takes time. And I think that's something that Coach April is seeing as she's becoming more tenured here at Louisville. Taylor Roby at the plate. Roby lines it to third. Gold snags and tags. A double play at Anna Gold getting it done at the bat and in the field. There is a reason why Anna Gold has started every single game at third base. She makes ESPN plays over and over and over again, and we're not even that far into the season. And you can tell just by watching her, she is ready to go. She is firing on all cylinders. Yeah, she toes the rubber quickly as Davidson rolls it into center. Vega being sent home. Throw in from Otis, not in time. Claire Davidson, the RBI, and Duke strikes first. Brings up Hannah File, who was hit by a pitch in her first plate appearance. Yeah, she pokes this towards right, and a sliding catch is made by Freelich. I don't know if you could tell on TV how hard that ball was hit. I think Freelich kind of dove just to make sure she could put her body in front of that. I mean, that was a shot. And great job by Freelich, because that did curve at the end. That's why you could tell she had to dive a little bit for it. That was not an easy catch to make and a really great shot. I was a catcher, so maybe I'm biased. I probably am, but th there's so much work to be done to learn all of the pitchers, and she laces that one. Rodriguez finds the gap in left center. Otis able to keep it in front of her, and that prevents Gold from scoring. It is a stand-up double, Duke's third double of the game. I said it before her at bat. You have to pitch to me now. Sure, go ahead, walk on a gold, or put her on, hit her, but now it's my turn, and she delivered. As that one drops into left field as an RBI single, courtesy of the freshman in Vega, who is two for two, and it's 4-1 Duke for their energy, for their morale. It's gonna be really key for them to be able to execute on this opportunity. Gets away from Rodriguez and Winkler comes on home. Louisville on the board. Who knows, maybe she was able to gain some perspective and, and bring back that love of the game. 3-1 hit deep to right field. Hannah File deposits one over the fence and Louisville draws within one. Incredible job taking advantage of the opportunity. Two outs on the board. It could have easily been a 4-1 game with Duke back in the dugout, but instead they are back in the ball game 4-3. Second home run of the season for number seven. She was able to connect so well with that ball, right leaving the ball too far up in the zone. It is a different breed of human being, <laughs> I swear. Anyone who's willing to go and play third base, I give them all the credit in the world. Here's Anna Gold, who sends the first pitch she sees deep to center field, and Gold continues to shine. 5-3 Duke. Anna Gold with her fifth home run in her last 10 or so at-bats. It's every other at-bat seems to be a home run. Incredible job for Anna Gold. Both coaching staffs are trying to hold their other aces that are gonna start other days off. I guess Rodriguez gets under it, deep to left center, back to back for the Blue Devils. This is the second time that Rodriguez said, sure, pitch to Anna Gold, don't pitch to Anna Gold. I'm right behind her. Kyrie Rodriguez had a clutch homer in the sixth against Charlotte, and she goes long tonight against Louisville. Gosh, it's gonna be really hard for people to not pitch to Anna Gold with Rodriguez behind her. Back-to-back -back home runs, a little bit lower in the lineup is producing tonight for Duke softball. Third home run of the season for Kyrie Rodriguez. Slow roller, that is a fair ball into the corner. One run across in Baker. Freelick on her way home. A two RBI triple for the freshman, Deanna Jennings. Tapia laces it into right field. Another run will come across 
First hit of the day for Giselle Tapia, and Duke leads it by six. Another thing I really like about Lily Walker is her ability to continue to throw her pitches even when there's been really long balls hit. Pass deep to left center, and Louisville right back in this. A two-run blast with two down, and they get that hit with runners in scoring position in grand fashion. And Duke opens up the weekend series against Louisville with a 9-6 win. A fun one, a lot of fireworks, but in the end, Duke picks up its 16th win in its last 17 games.